it's not a chop factor. Stocks are just literally in the middle of the ranges. So now we're kind of forced to look at other areas. And there was some pretty good areas uh, in the market today for some strength. Again, a lot of those. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, what a difference a, a, a day makes. Uh, let me tell you guys a quick story. So yesterday, if you watched the video, I, I was completely off. I was just literally missing every bounce spot uh, on Tesla. Just, just really frustrating day. And uh, the, the big thing for me going into today's session was, as we talked about in the video last night, any dips, right? Literally any dips, um, I, I thought they were gonna be bought, right? I thought any dip is gonna get bought, especially in the morning. Uh, and there's a probably a high probability it's gonna go right to green. And 5.30 this morning, um, I have a poodle. I have a pretty damn big poodle. Uh, she's about 75 pounds, big, big girl. And she jumped off the bed around 5.30 in the morning, right? Literally 5.30 in the morning. And, uh, you know, so I woke up, right? I woke up 5.30 in the morning, not to be, you know, not to be X-rated or anything, but I went to pee, right? I went to pee and just like every other human being, I said, you know, I looked at the futures, I go, oh, the futures are up. How much is Tesla, 30, 40? So I look and Tesla's down six. So I go, oh my God, this thing's gonna go red to green. You know, definitely gonna go, is gonna go red to green. So. I, I run into my office, uh, I turn on the computer and I just wait. And you can see what time uh, what time this was at 5.46 in the morning. I go, guys, watch red to green uh, for experienced traders. Uh, 12.02 is me a big number. Uh, obviously we're gonna watch that uh, you know, 12.10 area, which was uh, last night's high. And not only, you know, not only did it go red to green twice for you know, eight to 10 points, but every dip today, literally in the morning on the rising 60 minute support got bought and it went green again. Uh, and then eventually they sold it off and then there was another bounce uh, off the 1140s area. So it, it, which, which basically comes to my point, uh, which we talked about last night in the video, you know, you're gonna have days, you're, you're a human being, right? You, you, you're gonna have days that you're just off. And, and this is kind of a, an important part to kind of uh, you know, tie a ribbon about yesterday's conversation, but you're gonna have days that you're off, right? And instead of trying to squeeze and be depressed and be angry about it, just let it go, right? Just let it go. The, the, the market it is always going to make you whole, right? As long as you don't do anything really silly and prostitute your money and burn mental capital on days that you just can't get going, we're just kind of missing the boat on everything, it's okay, right? It's okay, like we talked about yesterday, and today the value came, uh, ridiculous bounces today in Tesla, uh, red to green twice in Tesla, and not only that, we saw an incredibly, an absolute incredible liquidation on a lot of technology names. And what was crazy about today's market, and, 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 and we, we talked about it in the webinar, I haven't, I haven't seen something like this in a very, very long time. Um, five years ago, forget about going back to 23 years, five years ago, if a stock, right, or a market, or in this case, an ETF, just like the Qs, reclaimed the five-day moving average, that is the most bullish thing you could possibly have. Um, it's very, very rare, okay, it's very, very rare that the next day you're gonna have this crazy, tremendous liquidation. And if you told me last night that, hey, by the way, and last night we talked about some names uh, that I definitely liked on, on the downside, uh, names like uh, Moderna, uh, name, names like uh, AMC, right? Names like AMC, and we'll, get, and we'll get to the pivots in a second. But if you told me last night that, yay, by the way, today we're going to uh, reclaim the five-day moving average on the queues, and oh, by the way, the next day, we're gonna test the 50-day moving average, I would say, yo, you got some, you know, you got some more of that stuff that you're smoking. It usually doesn't happen. It very rarely happens, but hey, guess what? This is the new market, right? This is the new market, there's new technology, there's different rules. And what we saw today was incredibly aggressive and it felt like to me that some fund had to liquidate today. And the reason why I say that, if you look at a lot of names, especially your, your favorite stocks, I don't care what your favorite stocks are, but if you look at your, your favorite stocks uh, in the technology space, they have one common den denominator over and over and over today. It's that big liquidation candle. And look at names, for example, this is all on one candle, guys, right? Look at the names today. Look what happened today on Amazon, 
Look at what happened today on NVIDIA. This is a normal, okay? It feels like there was a big fund uh, that had whatever the case may be. They had redemptions, they had a liquidate, whatever the case may be, and we're not gonna know. Maybe we will uh, down the road, but it felt like every name today just got absolutely destroyed, right? You had NVIDIA, complete destruction. Uh, CRM, look, I mean, look what happened to CRM. Your favorite names, it doesn't make a difference what growth story you talked about. It had exactly the same name. Even Tesla, right? Even Tesla that held up really, really well today, uh, considering, and again, somebody's gonna turn around and say, well, how can you say it held up really, really well today? Yes, it was up 150 points. It gave back a third today. And today you saw really big call buying coming in on every single dip. And they weren't just coming in for, you know, 10, 15 grand. They were coming in for uh, the 1,200, the 1,250 weeklies, four or $500,000 a clip. So there was a really aggressive buying. But again, even Tesla got really, really hit, right? This is one after another, after another. Even the one that held up the strongest, Apple, right? And again, these are bad ticks on e-signal, but you see these really, really big aggressive moves. So we don't know what today was, but again, just by looking at the action and seeing how some of these names were getting you know, rejected and really, really aggressively, I, I wouldn't be shocked if we heard a story a week from now, two weeks from now, that some fund how to liquidate, whatever the case may be, saw rejections, whatever the case may be, I wouldn't be shocked because what we saw today was bids being hit, especially in the video. We, we saw in the video, they were coming in when the video started turning around and hit the 50 day moving average. And we, we talked about that a couple of days ago. It hit the 50, it took out the 50 day moving average and it didn't take it out on a little bit of volume. It took out the 50 day moving average and it was selling of waves, man. We're talking about it from 293 the 283 in a matter of 20, 30 minutes. So very, very aggressive. The ironic part about all the stuff that was going on with this big selling, the Dow was still super duper strong. You would never know uh, the market was down today, but it was, you know, I, I trade technology. So yeah, the market for me was down. Uh, and when you look at the pivots, and we'll get to the pivots in a second, you can see how aggressive the moves were. But when you look at what drove the market today, quote unquote, the Dow Jones Industrials, were you're talking about oils, right? And you're talking about financials. Look at these moves on financials. Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, right? JP Morgan, even Citibank that just never gets an uptick. The great part about this is, yeah, they're moving up on a potential moves, uh, potential interest rate moves. But the problem is these things are one hit wonders. For every one day uh, that financials are strong, you never hear from them for the next 20, 30 weeks. It's just, it just the most frustrating group considering the Fed is really setting up for them, allegedly, to start raising rates. So obviously, uh, that will be a very, very important part uh, going into a tomorrow session to see if these things can follow through. But the, the craziest part, what we saw today, and again, if you go on my uh, regular twi Twitter account, you'll kind of see it. Hey, let me, actually, let me just show you guys really, really quickly. Um, how big the bounce was uh, on the queues towards the end of the day, right? So if you look at if you look at the last thing we talked about, let me just show you really quickly. Uh, the last thing we talked about was, I go, look, there's the bounce. Uh, here's the bounce, right? Here's the bounce we talked about, this 393.20s area. That's the 50-day moving average. And, and you can see how aggressively uh, this bounce was, right? You can see that how the cues were, they bounced right off. We're talking about a three and a half point bounce uh, going into the close. The problem with that, right? The, the absolute problem with that closes everything that was setting up or pre predominantly a lot of names that were setting up for tomorrow to the downside, right? They bounced three, four, five, seven dollars off the bottom. So going into tomorrow's session, it's going to be a little bit tough, right? It's it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be a session that you're turning around and saying. Well, this one looks great, that one looks great, this one's about to break down, that one's about to break down. No, the great part about uh, trading now is you're picking your spots. So after you had a really good value day today, and again, we'll get to the pivots in a second, tomorrow now we have the luxury to kind of wait and pick our spots, because now everything's literally uh, in the middle of the range, and that's very, very important to understand that. So tomorrow, you're not gonna, you know, you know, 20 minutes before I left, we were looking at the bottom of the channel here on Amazon. Amazon bounced you know, $30 off the lows. Now this thing is $50 away 
from the bottom of the range. Uh, a name, for example, for example, we were watching NVIDIA, right, for tomorrow's downside. This thing bounced 10 off the pivot. So you're gonna be very, very, a lot of you guys are gonna be very frustrated tomorrow. A lot of you guys are gonna use the word chop factor. It's not a chop factor. Stocks are just literally in the middle of the ranges. So now we're kind of forced to look at other areas. And there was some pretty good areas uh, in the market today for some strength. Again, a lot of names may be not your cup of tea, might not be my cup of tea, but a lot of times, okay, beggars can't be choosers. So look at a name, for example, like Caterpillar, right? Right, look at that Caterpillar. Caterpillar, monster, monster move above the range here. Again, is this a possible day two runner? Absolutely, you know, keep an eye on this thing, either a dip into rising support or above today's channel. That looks good. A stock like Citrix System, right, had a good move. A couple of days ago, right, took out this little flag here. You know, it, it does have range, right? It does have range uh, back to the upside. Uh, even look at an oil name like CPE. Again, right, not the traditional names that we look at every single day that we talk about, but these are real setups. These are names that got above the ranges, got above the 50-day moving average. And if this, if you're not, uh, you know, if you're not in the business of technology tomorrow, whether to the long side or to the short side, at least you have alternative names that are, are again, really, and they're valid. Again, are they going to turn into a Tesla? Probably not. But the point is they're real players, uh, they're real charts, and if they do confirm, you should have mirror images of what technology does just a lot uh, slower. So going into tomorrow, be a little you know delta neutral. Uh, also a name I like to the downside tomorrow uh, is uh, CarMax. Uh, broke down today, maybe if it starts uh, breaking down below today's channel as well. Uh, CRM, first close today, uh, first close today below... Uh, first close today below uh, the earnings lows. I want to keep an eye on this thing below today's uh, channel tomorrow for a possible continuation. So it's very, very important to kind of pick spots tomorrow, see where you fit in. But the greatest part is because we had such good value today, okay, you, you, you don't have to go crazy tomorrow. You can pick and choose and relax. And if you don't want to trade tomorrow, guess what? You don't have to. And that's the most important part. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about uh, today's pivots uh, again. Uh, really, really aggressive stuff here. We'll talk about this in a second. Uh, let me get to the let me get to the private feed. Okay, let me get to the private feed. So yeah, I woke up uh, really, really early this morning. Right, really, really early. We started talking about. Uh, different channels here. Again, the first thing I talked about was at 5.45 in the morning. I go, hey, man, watch this red to green. Uh, it was down like three, four bucks. And all of a sudden you saw volume come in. Uh, they took it to roughly around that 10.08, 10.10 level. Why was that important? Uh, because that was last night's high, okay? And that was really, really important. And the second time, it dipped, and we'll get to that in a second. The second time, uh, there was a pivot, uh, there was a, a bounce area where we talked about last night, buying to rising 60 minute support, and then it went red again, going up another you know, 20, 25 dollars. So there was a lot of really good value today on Tesla. So everything yesterday, I was so frustrated. I go, I can't believe everything. We got, we got that back today, right? I got that back today, and I was very, very pleased. Uh, with the results, as you can see here, let's go. Basically, the stock started exploding back to highs. And this is the area. Go Now we need to see, right? Now we need to see uh, that 1210 area again. And that will be a big, big number uh, going forward. And let's talk about some other names, right? Let's talk about some other names. Really, really great action there. Obviously, uh, 307 on the video never got there. It got liquidated very, very aggressively. Uh, we talked about AMC last night. They started coming for the uh, 23 and 22 dollars short term puts. Keep an eye on that for more uh, selling. But 2640 if it builds below can flush. Nice move on AMC. I think it goes lower, right? So here was the 2640. Uh, went down all the way down to 2464. Uh, I, I think this thing still has a date uh, with 23 dollars before it gets a, a soft landing. Uh, coin, we talked about coin last night, 250 if it builds below can flush. I thought it was gonna get down to that 245 level. It kind of, you know, got down to 244. So here's, here's you know, the, we talked about this channel for, for a number of days, got, got down right to this 245, uh, 244 level on coin. Uh, Apple, a uh, beautiful bounce initially on Apple. Uh, we I took that 8150s bounce. It went, you know, it went about that 75 cents or so uh, came back in, stopped me out, right? Took some profits on the way up, uh, stopped me out, then went right to 83. And this is 83 is going to be a big number uh, going forward. And they have a nice, you know, pretty decent cash flow. Uh, Lucid, we talked about 41.80, 42, never got there. Uber never got to the 44.50 area. 
Uh, Amazon, again, we watched it to the upside, never got there. Uh, here's Moderna, right? 231, if it builds below, uh, can flush, right? MRNA. So it took out the 231 level, went to uh, 225, had a nice little reversal uh, back up. Uh, AMD obviously didn't confirm to the upside. Nice move on Boeing. So the 209 was the pivot on Boeing yesterday. Uh, 211 needs a new base for the 213 push. Here was Boeing. Again, part of the Dow, obviously. So it took out the 211. Here was the push uh, to the 213. Actually traded the 214 uh, and a half. Uh, let's see what else. What else? We have. Take on the way down. AMC, perfect bounce. Uh, take on the way down. Could see 226. Saw 225. Uh, coin 245 next stop obviously uh, that was a perfect move uh, as well so again frustration in this business uh, is very very easy uh, to fall uh, to fall for um, I think the most important part is take every day in face value you're gonna get, have days you're gonna get everything you're gonna have days that you're gonna miss everything eventually the universe balances out guys God bless have a great day stay patient tomorrow it might be uh, a little bit more of a methodical day to kind of picking up spots but the most important part is we know what we're uh, up against there should be no surprises and the most important part is take what the market gives you guys God bless and I will see you all tomorrow